This video is sponsored by Logitech. Now the ideal for any creative is to spend more time doing the fun creative bits and less time doing repetitive button clicking and faffing about machines and menu systems. Thankfully, Logitech have got this MX Creative console, which is essentially designed to cut down on the clicks and keyboard and mouse maneuvers you make, therefore making your workflow flow much better. First of all, I'm gonna show you what it is. Over here, we have got the Creative Dial Pad, which is a dual dial device. One massive rotating wheel here, and then a slightly smaller scrolly thing here, along with four customizable buttons here. And it's all neatly placed, rather logically placed for left-hand use. Now the buttons, there's not too much resistance to it, so it doesn't feel like you have to press it in too hard just to make it click. Slightly soft, but not squidgy. Now the wheel and the scrolly thing, they don't, click but the wheel thing it's got a nice dampened feel to it it's got a nice smooth feel to it like you'd get on a old hi-fi separates it's powered by two triple a batteries there and it's quite lightweight but they've got rubber strips on both sides so it doesn't slip about when you're using it and over this side we have got the creative keypad it's not powered by batteries as you see it's connected via usb-c cable right there so it comes with a little stand, so you can either use it like that, at a sort of 45 degree angle, just so that you can read the buttons a little bit easier when you're using your computer. Or you can just put it flat on the table like that. The small size and form factor make it good to use at home, but also on the go. Another good thing about the way it's made is that the carbon footprint has been kept low in the production process. Parts like the dial are optimized to minimize waste and aluminium in the dial are produced with renewable energy. No paint has been used and the packaging is FSC certified paper. Now they're both really simple to set up. Switch it on, connected via Bluetooth. Then you download the software Logi Options Plus, which is a software used to set up other Logitech MX products, as we can see right here. While the keypad might look like some bright, starkly printed buttons, in fact, what you have behind those buttons is a really tiny, ickle little screen. And these are contextual, meaning that the buttons will change its purpose depending on what app you're using. So while at the minute it's this, when I crack open Lightroom Classic, boom. I must add that I have not customized anything so far. This is exactly as it comes straight out of the box. But straight away it's set up for streamlining the whole Lightroom process right from the start. At the minute it's in library and you can just switch between, you can just use that to quickly switch between library and develop. But anyway, first of all, we'll start off by selecting our cool photos and our not so cool photos. So on the bottom we've got one star, three star, five star, and pick for adding a little flag to your photo. For checking, inspecting, and correcting, and then picking out the photos you want, the controls are there at your fingertips, so you can really zip through this part of the editing process. And then once you pick your photos, you can just filter the pick photos. That's our selection of photos. And then once you've done that, you can just click develop mode. Oh, Jackie Chan pose. But the buttons don't just change their function depending on what app you're using, but also what you're doing within those apps. And when you switch between library and develop mode, the function of those buttons change. So white balance selector, auto white balance. It's all about the contextual, this changeability that makes the creative console such a wonderful tool. It just makes the whole process a lot more fluid, a quick button bash versus moving the mouse and clicking on a drop down menu, then selecting when you're editing another photos. It does save a huge amount of time. Okay, auto upright. Another essential thing is crop. Once you press crop, it brings up the grid, but also on the keypad, it shows all these different aspect ratios. It provides you with the appropriate buttons for what you're doing at the moment, so you don't need to search for it. But it's also about combining the keypad and dial pad to provide a more precise tool for fine tuning. Okay, now you can either crop it like that, or you can press this rotate to crop. And once you press that button, you can see the button has got a little kind of circular vignetting around the button there. And the reason for that is because, well, look, let's go over to the dial pad. So you can use your little round wheel thing to make those adjustments for the cropping. Otherwise you'd be using the mouse to do this, which is fine, but to get those really fine adjustments, it's just so much better on the wheel. Oh, and the wheel, the dial, and the roller, you can customize the speed and the direction. And all of the buttons, you can change the functions. All you have to do is go over here, drag and drop the settings from the right panel here, 
and you can do that for all of the compatible apps, but also you can add more apps for the Creative Console to work with. There's a growing marketplace for downloading the latest profiles, plugins and icon packs, but also if there isn't a suitable profile, you can create your own one, and you can even use it for quick access to your finder or emojis. But as you've noticed on the bottom, you've got arrow buttons which cycles through the pages. At the minute, there's only two pages on, but you can add more pages of shortcuts. You can create up to 15 pages. I'd set them up in all of the steps in my editing process. After initial crop and orientation, I need all the basic image adjustments, exposure, contrast, etc. So once you press the button, you can use the dial rather than clicking on those sliders with your mouse. And because I have to look through a lot of test shots, not usually loads of photos of myself I might add, being able to copy the adjustments made and applying it to other photos easily is so useful. But that isn't the only way to make those adjustments. But let me show you one cool thing that is set up as standard. So the, the button on the bottom right here, this is the action button. You press that and it opens up a circular array of buttons, eight of them, and this will pop up on the screen wherever your mouse cursor is positioned. And for Lightroom Classic, we've essentially got the basic adjustments you might want to make to your photo. To make the adjustment, you can either click with your mouse and move it left or right, or you just hover over the mouse cursor and use the dial on the dial pad to make the adjustment. It's a very cool feature that just collects all of those essential adjustments in one place that can be adjusted in such a slick manner. Like, you don't have to look away from the photo towards the slider. You can make those adjustments without having to avert your eyes or check where you're moving your mouse cursor to. The MX Creative Console is made to make your workflow easier from the get-go, and due to its ability to be customised so easily, you can continue to adapt it to your workflow as it changes. And when you combine that level of customization with the smooth operation, it makes the MX Creative Console the ideal device for streamlining your workflow. So yeah, that is the MX Creative Console. And by the way, this is also a neat thing. It includes a three-month complimentary membership to Adobe Creative Cloud. Very nice.